I think it's less about other models for order and more about kind of different rationales uh, for cooperation. And I think if you look at China, their rationale is we have capital, you need capital, and uh, you would like to have it from somebody who doesn't ask so much in return. Uh, so China can go somewhere and they can build a bridge or a stadium uh, using the excess capital that they've accumulated over time and they can export Chinese labor to a small country to do that and maybe they can bribe the official responsible and, and that can have a real genuinely positive development impact in that country if what they're building is something that that country needs. Uh, but it's an entirely different thing than what America is offering. It doesn't come with the same rules. It doesn't come with the same responsibilities. It doesn't come with the same values. And if you look at Putin, I think he also has his own brand of authoritarian soft power, if you will, that, that has real purchase in many places. They're against social progress. They're against this idea of sharing power. Sharing power is weak. What's strong is crushing your enemy. You know, uh, what's strong is, is uh, crushing the media, insulting journalists, laughing at civil society, demonizing gays. Uh, it's a very masculine idea of what power should be that laughs at any sort of feminine virtue in civic life. Uh, and and uh, I personally find it deeply objectionable, uh, but I know that it's